Assessing chronic aortic regurgitation requires a multi-parametric approach. For residents and fellows, the challenge lies in moving beyond simple color Doppler and mastering the quantitative metrics that dictate surgical timing. The following guide breaks down the gold standard flow metrics and quantitative assessments used in advanced echocardiography. The American Society of Echocardiography emphasizes three primary quantitative measures to define severe aortic regurgitation. Effective regurgitant orifice area less than 0.1 square centimeter is mild, 0.1 to 0.29 square centimeter is moderate and 0.3 or more is severe. Regurgitant volume less than 30 ml per beat will be mild, 30 to 59 will be moderate and 60 or more ml per beat will be severe. Regurgitant fraction less than 30 percent will be mild, 30 to 49 percent will be moderate and 50 percent or more will be severe aortic regurgitation. Proximal isovelocity surface area is often more difficult in aortic regurgitation than in mitral regurgitation because the flow convergence zone is frequently constrained by the left ventricular outflow tract walls. Formula effective regurgitant office area is equal to 2 pi r squared into aliasing velocity together divided by maximum velocity. Clinical tip, shift the baseline toward the direction of the jet, usually downward for AR, to a Nyquist limit of 30 to 40 centimeter per second. While PISA provides a snapshot, spectral Doppler provides insight into the hemodynamics of the entire cardiac cycle. Pressure half time measures the rate of pressure equalization between the aorta and the left ventricle during diastole. For severe AR, pressure half time is less than 200 milliseconds. Mechanism, as the LV fills rapidly from the aorta, the pressure gradient drops quickly. But there is a pitfall. PHT is highly dependent on left ventricular compliance and systemic vascular resistance. In acute IR or patients with high left ventricular and diastolic pressure, the pressure half time will be short 